Hello. Those of you that have been following my blog RestoCAD 60 Plus will have seen some references made to a Mazda 3500 bus in there. This bus has got a um, Windsor 5 litre motor fitted in place of the four cylinder diesel, but the holly carburetor on it currently is at 750 cubic um, feet a minute and it's too big for the job. Now, this carburetor here is a 600 holly. Um, bought for $120 a couple of weeks ago. It's missing some parts, but those parts have been ordered from America and they've been brought out here. It's missing the um, choke here, from this point here. It's missing the lever that goes behind it and a connection between there, here and here. And the carburetor itself is in very good order. Uh, some screws missing in a couple of odd spots, one here for instance. Uh, the adjusting screws are here, but I have a kit to replace any of those particular items, which just gives me all the things that I need, including the power valve, springs, jets, main jets, um, hold down bolts and all those types of things that are necessary to do the job. Now I'm only going to go as far as the carburetor as necessary to get it into running order because I don't think it needs any more than an adjustment and just to check the, the um, um, jet sizes to make sure they're the right ones because the motor that it's going on to is a 302 Windsor uh, and this kit here for this particular one is probably for a 289. When you're checking for holly carburetors and you want to order parts for them there is a particular number that you look for which is usually stamped on the carburetor about here and this one's a list 44521 and uh, it's an 0902 so these are the numbers that you need to use when you order parts for these particular carbies now these are a very good carburetor but they need to be set up properly uh, there's an ample information on the net about how to set up recondition and adjust these carburetors so that they work properly and we'll give you all the information that you need to set the idle properly uh, make sure the main jet sizes are proper for them but generally speaking with the standard car jets that come with them they're within a few percent of where they should be but you need to fine tune for your motor so you might have to go either up or down in the size of one or two jet sizes to make the carburetor work more efficiently uh, because it can add another one or two miles to the gallon to the to the capacity of the vehicle. And the Mazda 3500 bus had a four-cylinder diesel motor in it which used to get 24 miles to the gallon, despite the fact the thing weighs three tonnes. And uh, <coughs> when the um, motor was replaced in it, it was just put straight in with a big carburetor and it dropped down to 12 miles to the gallon. Well, obviously we're going to attempt to, to raise that uh, as much as we can. Um, and when this carburetor goes on, it's properly tuned. It probably had two miles to the gallon, so that's about 14. And we think we can get it above that by adding a uh, twin um, pipe exhaust system to it with a much lower back pressure. Do some work on the uh, distributor and the timing on it. Uh, and then I'm going to add hydrogen HHO uh, kit to it which should make another 10 or 12 percent difference minimum to the fuel consumption so we think we can get it up to around 18 to 20 miles to the gallon with a little bit of judicious tuning. Now I'm going to start and stop the um, camera as I do certain things and we'll edit out the bad bits so that at least the looks like I know what I'm talking about.